Hello everyone and welcome back to the Art Facts. I am Diona De La Cruz Nermal, a graduate of Fine Arts, major in Advertising here in the Philippines. I am a freelance, home-based graphic designer. Before I introduce to you how to make your first ever logo design, let us first differentiate three graphic softwares that designers commonly use. The first is Adobe Photoshop. The second is the Adobe Illustrator. And the third one, which is the basic and is recommended for your beginners, Corel Draw. Adobe Photoshop is used for editing pictures. Its main function is to edit your photos, enhance color, change picture saturation, create 3D artwork, digital painting, and create beautiful images. While AI or Adobe Illustrator is for your scalable graphic designs, AI also creates beautiful images um, to be used for webs and apps. Next is Corel Draw. Corel Draw is recommended for beginners. It is a powerful vector graphic editor. It is used uh, primarily in making logos, while you can also create brochure, um, newsletters, and business cards. Uh, Corel for me is uh, user-friendly, as I have said in my last episode. Um, if you are a beginner and it is your first time to make designs or graphic designs, I would recommend you will try Corel Draw because it is uh, easy to learn and tools and instructions is um, easy to understand. If I were to compare the three graphic softwares, Photoshop, Illustrator, and CorelDRAW. Photoshop is a raster or a pixel based, while CorelDRAW and AI are vector based so when you say raster or pixel based files are made of pixels or blocks if you enlarge it you can see a blocked images while a vector files are most uh, common types of file that is used in print media and digital graphics such as logo Vector files allows you to enlarge images without destroying the image. Vector graphics are a big part of a major printed materials. And remember, logos should have always a vector files. Vector files are SVG, EPS, PDF, and AI files. While raster files are PNG, JPEG, and GIF. Most clients always recommend you to pass JPEG files, PNG files, and a vector file which is AI. Photoshop is most commonly used by photographers and artists, while CorelDRAW and AI is commonly used by graphic designers. In terms of their artboards or pages, Photoshop, you can only use one artboard or page, while Corel Draw and AI, you can use multiple pages.
For aspiring designers, I would not recommend Canva. Why? Because Canva is a design maker that uses templates. If you use Canva as a designer, it defeats your purpose being a designer. So, it's not designing anymore, it's copying. Your creativity will limit, uh, will be limited based on the image and uh, graphics displayed on that uh, program. And Canva is not recommended for designers. Because Canva has uh, ready-made images or clip arts that is against our ethics standards. And as a client, I would not uh, pay you $100 for a logo made in a template. Because logos is customized and personalized. So you can't give clients a logo which is made from templates or logo made out of templates. And for me, if I am a client, I would not pay you $100 for a logo which everyone is using and is made only within 15 minutes the most. So if you want to make logos from scratch, I would really uh, recommend Coral Draw. So again, recap, uh, Photoshop is uh, used mostly by photographers and artists. If you do want to edit their pictures, uh, color saturation, or images, Photoshop is recommended for photo enhancements. AI is for uh, graphic works that uh, required scalable uh, sizes. And Coral Draw is a graphic design for beginners which is uh, based on uh, vector files and it is easy to understand and it is uh, easy to use so being a beginner i would really recommend uh, using corel draw so what corel draw versions do you want i am using Actually, I am using Corel Draw 13. It is an obsolete Corel Draw, but um, logos are not based on software applications. It is based on your creativity. Clients will not uh, ask you questions if their logo is made out of Photoshop, AI, or an advanced or a new version of Corel Draw or a new version of uh, graphic softwares they will base or they will uh, buy your designs according to your creativity no. so whether it is a old version of your graphic design software it doesn't matter as long as you have your creativity and skills that's what matters the most So guys, that's it for today. I hope you've learned and enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more uh, design tips and advice. Photoshop, you can all...
this is the problem when you try to create or film during daytime hello everyone and welcome back to the art hacks 